when I go to paint the wheels, I'm going to paint some of the jack components first. So they're next on the list of uh, bead blasting. I'm going to bead blast all the stuff. I'm going to try and what I'll do is I'll probably put something over it. Well, maybe I'll just paint this and then I'll clean this. I'll move this down and clean this lacquer thinner. And once this is dry, I can just paint part of it, move the jack, paint the other part because this just, this is going to be in the trunk visible. So I want it to look good and I'll probably never ever use the bumper jack. I carry a little bottle jack with some blocks of wood in the Chevy. And I'll probably do the same in this car and I did the Catalina when I was driving it too. So, you know, these bumper jacks really aren't safe and I don't want to take a chance on messing up one of those bumpers if I have a flat. So yeah, this will never, never see use as long as I own the car. And then the wheels, Tony, and I, I forget oh, what is, uh, I pinned his comment to the top in the last uh, video. And uh, it was an interesting comment on these wheels. And uh, so he reckons these are all a correct, that's the, the six. These are all a five, whatever the letters were, I don't remember. I think that one was like ME or something. And I don't know. I just don't know. I'm not, I'm not going to look at them right now. But that was on the, the uh, left rear, left front, right front, right rear, spare. So that being the six wheel is going to become the spare. And uh, from what I understand, these were probably put on the, Fives were probably be put on the car on the assembly line, and then maybe it was shipped to the dealer without a spare, and so the dealer put it in, and because the that's dated May, the car rolled off the assembly line April 29th, 66, you know, right around there, and uh, but it shows that that's the day it rolled off the line, and uh, that spare wheel is a May. Those are all 65, but they're late 65, so they could have been, you know, leftover production. You know, that's one thing I've found working on cars. It's not uncommon sometimes to find an older past year part on a car from the factory, but you never find newer ones. And so the only thing I can think of was either somebody curbed it and bent a wheel, so it got a new wheel at one time, or it was shipped. To the dealer and didn't have a spare so the dealer put a spare in or maybe the spare was put just before it was shipped you know these cars don't go from the assembly plant to the dealer and sold overnight um, sometimes they sit at the factory for a while so this car probably in reality was probably sold in late May or early June um, I'm guessing you know that's just an educated guess so that very well is probably the original spare wheel to the car. So anyway, I just thought that that was a interesting, you know, about wheels and 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 you know stuff like that. But go read his comment. It was interesting. He talks about who made them and you know just a little bit about the wheels. It was interesting. After doing those uh, five wheels, I had to change the bag in my shop vac again, and I put a new clear plastic there's like a film that goes underneath there to keep the this from getting blasted so now i can see in there pretty good and get back i got one piece here this piece is done so we'll work on maybe this one next and you know just a little at a time here and uh get it all done here my my glove actually inflates there when uh a little bit when um I have a new vacuum bag in there. It draws in through here. There's a hole up in here. It comes down, comes out. This is the fresh air intake. So there's a hole way up the top, comes down to there, and then uh, that's where the vacuum sucks it in. So anyway, let's uh, get this rest of this jack cleaned up so I can paint it all with the uh, wheels. the picture. 
cleans it up pretty quick smart. All right, let me uh, finish them up. getting ready to prime the bumper jack and I'll show you how I do this so this will be black and this will be silver it's pretty simple put the I usually put the jack down and put the lever in the up position and then the see how the jack stays doesn't fall and uh, then when you're when you're done you put this in the down position and I'm not gonna but see how it falls and you can put it to that end to the other end and then you can put your lever back up while it's up there. And this will be wet, so you're going to leave a little, just use the tip of your finger. And uh, then, you know, you can clean this overspray off this with lacquer thinner in a pan. And then this, once this is dry, then you can paint this silver up so far, run your jack wherever, and paint the rest of your uh, silver. So... That's what I'm, I'm going to get the zinc chromate on this and uh, get it ready to, I'm not going to do this because I'm going to be cleaning it with thinner. I'll just put, use a rattle can silver on this. This I'm going to use the acrylic enamel like I use on the wheels. I may, I was going to use my big gun on these, but it'll be too hard to paint all these little pieces with the big gun. So I'm probably going to be using two guns. I'll probably paint the wheels first and then I'll clean my big gun then I'll go around with my door jam gun and paint all these little bits but why have the paint mixed up I feel I might as well just paint the stuff I'm sure there's gonna be more black I'm painting I'm gonna got an engine there I gotta paint and then an engine here and uh, these little brackets are black so you know I got other things here and uh, so I'll be dirtying up guns many more times. You can see how I, uh, when I primed it, just primed everything, including the jack uh, support. So what I'll do now is I'll, and I'm gonna do this one hand and flip that to that way. Flip it to that way. And then I can clean this. And that now that I change that back to up, I put it to down to, get it to coast and then I changed it back to up and it'll stay in the up and then I can take my brush and my thinner and clean that off and I can't hold the camera and do that at the same time unfortunately. There we go that cleaned all the uh, primer out of that and it's all nicely primed up here. You can't get these off because these are like staked over there and on the bottom here so there's no getting these off, so this is how I do them. I've done this way for, God, as long as I've been doing cars. And now, you know, then you can see here the green uh, primer. But then when I paint that black, gloss black, I have a nice coating of that to clean off. That'll be a little harder than the primer, but it cleans off. But that's so you can make a bumper jack look like new again. I went to the paint store and got, uh, I needed a couple of these for the larger amounts of paint when I mix them, but I have some, tons of these smaller ones like this. They're pretty useful to have when you're, you know, they have all the graduations, uh, how many parts of what you need to put in. They're good. I got a bunch of stir sticks and paint filters and stuff. I'm going to use these stir sticks and I paint the wheels so that... Probably set them about like that. Once the wet side's down, then I can just touch up that if it peels. But I'll probably paint like this side first. Let it put two coats on, let it dry 15 20 minutes, and then I'll flip them over on these and paint the top side. That's the way I usually do them. If you do it before this fully cures, you don't really get overspray and uh. I've never had a problem painting wheels like that. I've hung them and painted them hang. They're just easier to paint when they're flat down and just flip them over. You don't see this, so when I grab this with my gloves and flip it, it won't matter if it makes a little mark in the paint. 
and then I'll just paint it anyway when I paint the face I'll reshoot all this too so they look fine and some wheels you know on the 50s cars and stuff were body color so I'd paint and from doing all these cars over the years the ones that this part was painted body color the wheels were painted black first because a lot of them the back of the wheel will be black this will be black and this will be body color and I've done it on original wheels like that so they just spray the body color over it and let the overspray blow through the back side. That's why the factory did them originally. Um, anyway, GM did because I've done a lot of GM wheels that were painted body color. So anyway, today it's raining out and I got my $200 worth of paint. I bought enough black so I can paint both those engines, paint all these wheels. I'm always painting things and I always use this black so I just like to have it on hand but being that it's rainy kind of drizzling on and off today it's not raining right now I might paint all this little stuff with my door jam gun it'll make it easier when I go to paint that not to have to horse with multiple things I like to paint the little stuff separate from the big stuff and those I'm gonna have to use my big gun on first coat I'm just gonna put two light coats on them Just trying to get everything. It looks like I need a little bit more right there. Yeah, I think they're going to come out nice. And a little bit more paint right in there too. So yeah, two coats will do them just fine. They come out pretty good when you do them that way. They're hard to paint because you got to get paint all in those little tight areas that's why I use my door jam gun I can bring the spray fan way narrow and shoot it right up in there and uh, that way you don't get rust up in there you know you get it's important to have it painted up in there but anyway there we go we'll let that dry hopefully the wheels will get painted tomorrow jack base looks like better than brand new and it'll never, it'll never touch gravel. Like I say, I'll never use the bumper jack on this car. Jack handle, I'll have to touch up where that wire goes. I'll do that with the wheel paint. You know, I'll take this off here tomorrow when I paint the wheels. And when I'm done, I can just take a dab with a brush and you'll never see it. That looks really good. That's what holds the jack and the tire iron in place. And that's the part that goes on the bumper that big heavy bar there that clips into here and then it hooks on the bumper and this car is never as long as i own it it's never going to have a never going to use a bumper jack on it if i can't change it with a bottle jack and a what i have in the car i'll call road service because bumper jacks are just they're dangerous i don't even know why they even made them but anyway, there we go. All cleaned up. You can see I got all the paint off this end of it. This is the end. I had it right down here when I painted it. I just took it in a little pan of lacquer thinner here with a brush, and that stuff comes right off. Today's another day, and it's a nice sunny day. No rain. Yesterday when I was painting this, I just felt a little mist on the back of my neck as I was finishing up the final coat on this. This was the last of what I painted. And then it rained steadily the rest of the day. I ended up uh, having to go take care of some other things anyway. But anyway, we're going to get these some cardboard out, get these set out, get the paint mixed up, and uh, make them fresh black paint on them today.
these wheels have two coats on them. I only videoed one. I'm going to flip them over here as soon as they're tacked up a little bit more. And then we'll paint the other side. There we go.
that's the first coat. You can still see the primer in a few spots through here and there. We'll go around and hit it with a second lake right there. So we'll go around and hit it. I was trying to get my gun to spray in those areas a little, but you know, they're hard to paint wheels are. There we go, two coats, all five wheels. Let them tack up, you know, to where I can touch them and then we'll run them into the garage. Ford had runs all over them because I had to take a little bit more effort to get the runs, the paint runs out when Ford painted them. So they're probably painted out nicer than what they were from the factory. So there we go. Let them, let them sit out here and harden up. Just so you can see what I've been doing, I did get the wheels painted probably Friday. I'll go and get uh, the tires mounted on them Friday or Saturday. I'll give them a call later today. I think they're supposed to get the tires in already. But anyway, if you like the video, definitely hit the like button. If you want to see the white walls on these rims and back on the car, subscribe to my channel by hitting that 348 engine icon. And thank you for watching my videos.